Hello zombie builders. Today I am building a classic RC tank and here is my initial design before I change it after a few failures. But we will get into more details later. I tried to assemble some to save some time from the simple stuff. And a little side note about the tank differential, I got the design from an extremely talented designer that I found online. However, I end up giving it a complete makeover to the inner components to fit my project. Here's the tank chassis coupled to the differential that I mentioned before. As well as two giant wheels powered by 12 volt DC motor with reduction gearbox that spins at 45 RPM. Guys, you will come to know me better about the mounts. When I build something, it's solid. It won't go anywhere, even after nuclear strike. Basically, all I mean is, I overthink strength. Alright, here's the rear steering wheel which is held by two bearings at the top and bottom of the chassis, plus a mount that also serves as servo mount which comes later. And as you can tell, I like my rear wheel. And then we get to another mount which attaches the DC motor to the chassis. I use four screws to overkill the mounting process. Here I'm showing off my rear tire. I know, I think I like mounts, and here comes another mount. But before we continue, sometimes this happens in zombie builds. Mm hmm I really lost it for a second, because I'm looking through the camera and I misplace items all the time. Alright, you guessed it right. After the third mount, it's time for the fourth one. But this one is responsible to hold the servo as well. And I thought, why not six screws? Around here, the rule is, go big or go home. Anyways, I promise you this was the last mount. Or uh, may maybe it is. Now it's time to install the servo which later on we can control it with radio controllers and receivers. Here you can see I designed a simple servo connector that can connect to the steering wheel system. Again, here it comes more rear tire show off. Okay, enough of that. Up next, we're getting closer to my favorite part of the build. Here is the base of the cannon. Alright, I gotta come down. This is the cannon's origin of rotation. And I built it with a large offset so it can sit on top of the DC motor. And of course, more screws. And more screws. And more. And more. Okay. Still going. The next piece, which I previously installed it for you guys, is responsible for left and right movement of the cannon. And since this was supposed to be a classic old school tank, I tried to have all the components exposed so every moving piece could be seen. Here you can see the large gear connected to the teeny tiny DC motor with reduction gearbox, which basically walks on a large track and makes a left and right movement. Good. That goes there. Here's the left and right movement I was talking about. And then we will get to the up and down movement. Before that, here's a dust cover for the DC motor. I didn't show off my front wheels. I think this is the right time for that.
Okay, let's go to the up and down movement. Here it is. The base piece works like a hinge, with lots of holes which is perfect for future modifications. Initially I was planning to install a servo so it can push itself up and down, however that has changed. I secure the hinge in place by using a 3mm stainless steel pin. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Here's a left and right and up and down movement. Very simple. All right, enough. Okay, they got it. Left, right, up, down, let go. Good. Okay, we are halfway done with this cannon, but I need your help to complete the cannon portion. Go ahead and comment down your ideas to how to build this cannon. Here is my initial design for the cannon. However, I changed it because the cannon wasn't efficient. The cannon would drain the batteries so quick it wouldn't be fun. Here's the receiver. It takes the wall and shoves it into the cannon, which spinning at 35,000 RPM, and the rotating belt would take the ball and boom. But efficiency is important in this kind of projects. Okay, let me show you some of my failures. Okay, at the end, I'm gonna show you my next project. I promise you, you wanna see it. But I still need your help to complete this one. I am waiting for your comments and ideas. So, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Do it.